Hey Because Beauty is Lisa Nelson here, your brand makeup artist, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how to get, you know, a perked up look with a bronzy finish using our bronzers today because you know, if you're like me, I'm sort of over the winter and we it feels like it's just lingering forever. So there's a way to kind of perk up your mood and make your skin look glowy and bronzy and it's really fun. So I wanted to share that with you today. So I'm going to refer, we're going to be using our three different bronzing in um, the compacts. And these come, as you know, in three different colors. So there's sun-kissed, um, there's totally tan, and then there's deep bronze, which I'm personally wearing. So I wanted to give you a few suggestions on how you can use these quickly and which skin tones actually are best with these. Although I will tell you they're neutral enough that any um, color of hair and skin can wear them from the lightest to the darkest. They look amazing. Um, obviously, you know, Sun Kissed is going to be your more cool toned. This one is great for lighter skin tones or people that just don't, they don't want to risk the bronzer looking too orangey. So that's the one that I would recommend there. And then Totally Tan um, is more of our medium tone. I would classify this as it's got more depth and um, color to it, but it's not definitely not too dark to where someone who is, you know, light can't wear it. And then lastly, the one that I'm going to show you how you can play with today, um, this one again is deep bronze and I love this and I'm going to show you a really subtle contour. So unlike our palettes, these can be used individually just to kind of perk up your skin. And um, I love them because they're more of a satin finish. They do have some light reflection, which is actually very, you know, flattering to any age skin. But they're matte enough that they're not going to look shiny on the skin. So therefore, they just give you a beautiful bronzy look. So what I've done already is obviously foundation and eyes today. And something fun, a tip is that I use this um, both underneath the eye and in the crease. So you can quickly use these as an eyeshadow because they are all ophthalmologist tested. So I'm going to grab our... Um, powder and blush brush and I'm just going to lay it side to side in the product side to side tap it off and then we're just going to go ahead and apply this in um, just kind of at the natural cheekbone but slightly underneath because we want to um, create somewhat of a contour there and you can just see how that will chisel out the cheekbone but this is more about just a nice generous placement because we want to just create this nice glowy cheek right um, and if you were short on time, you could just omit blush and just do this bronzer here. So always start at the back of the face and then you just ensure that you're not going to um, grab balls of color at the front of the face. We always want it to look um, sculpted and beautiful without looking harsh. So again, side to side, tap it off. We're just going to do that on both sides. And you kind of want to swim it, right? So you're going to blow it up on the natural cheekbone, kind of swish it back, but then you're going to swim it just underneath the natural cheekbone too to give a nice um, sculpting line there. So let me show you additionally where you can do this. And I would do a little at the forehead. So if you think about drawing a three, and again, this is a very subtle, um, not too like harsh contour. This we're not face mapping. We can get into um, more detail of contour if you want to in the future. But for this, I would just do a very subtle starting at the hairline and then just kind of drawing. Think about drawing a three. So you're just kind of here and then a three. So it's a three this way. Um, you want to buff at the chin. I have a little bit of a pointier chin, so I like to kind of make sure that I get that. But this foundation, our um, our HD foundation, our hydrating foundation is beautiful and it looks soft and luminescent and glowy a little bit, which I love a dewy finish. Um, and then elsewhere, you could take a little bit of this on the brush and just pop it underneath your nose and then at the side. So it's a very like informal contour, I would classify it, but it just sculpts and shapes the face. It's gonna perk up your mood, you're gonna look more bronzy, and just you just rock that goddess moment, okay? So this is just a fun way to um, get over our winter blues, you know, because spring's gonna get here eventually. But until then, we can have fun with our amazing bronzers. So play with them, and until next time, you guys, watch for more videos. Stay beautiful. See you.